Mike Rinder is the director of the Church of Scientology International. The only glimpse into Lisa McPherson's 17 days at the Fort Harrison Hotel comes from logs kept by Scientologists who were assigned to keep watch over Lisa. Despite Scientology's efforts to keep them confidential, the courts have made them public. The logs show Lisa's physical and mental state deteriorating over those 17 days. Rest and relaxation sounds like a wonderful idea, but the records say that two days into her stay, she was spitting out food and vomiting. Four days into her stay, she was ashen-faced and feverish, and then she became violent, striking the attendants, hallucinating, thinking that she's L. Ron Hubbard, being too weak to stand, soiling herself, crying, babbling, breaking things. At that point, isn't it clear that it's not working? What's not working? Resting, taking her away from the students. No, I don't think that that's clear at all. I, I don't think that, that you can draw inferences or conclusions from what is said. Uh, you know, you can read other reports and later on there is a different perspective of what was going on. Of course they are. The case is being handled by attorney Ken Dandar, who has his own theory about what happened over those 17 days. So could you imagine Lisa McPherson, who is mentally unstable, according to Scientology, is having these people come in and try to force feed her, and she's yelling and screaming at them, she's banging on the wall, she's fighting with them, she's asking them questions, but they are not allowed to respond to her. All they can do is turn around and walk out the room and then write a report to the case supervisor and close the door behind them. And she's not allowed to leave. Dandar is an idiot. That's my response to that. He hasn't got a clue. He is the worst of the worst of what makes the American legal system uh, so out of control. He is a, a, an ambulance chasing gold digger. My reply to that is simple. If they had called an ambulance for Lisa McPherson, I wouldn't be here today. The Scientologist never did call an ambulance. But on the 17th day, Lisa was at last taken to a hospital in a church van. It didn't take Lisa to the closest hospital, which was just a few blocks away. Or the second closest. Or the third. Or even the fourth nearest, for that matter. Instead, they drove to Newport Ritchie Hospital, 45 minutes away. And it was during those 45 minutes that Lisa McPherson died. She certainly would have made it to the hospital it's only a few blocks down the road, alive, and where she would have been provided the appropriate care. Why was Lisa taken so far away when it was clear that she was ill?